Hi, this video is about helping you to tell whoever's going to play your accompaniment what key they might want to be in, or at least close. Now this is a circle of fifths. I'm just going to get up, not going to stop the camera. And if you notice, at the top you have C, G, D. And at the bottom you have A with an M, E with an M, and B with an M. When you have letters that have like C, G, and D, that's considered to be major. C major, G major, D major. On the smaller, you have A, E, and B with an M, which is A minor, E minor, and B minor, C minor, whatever you like. All right, the reason I say all that is because this is a Native American flute. And if I'm in a flute circle, I'm gonna tell you, do you have an A flute? And let's play together. Or, but actually, in true form, this is an A minor flute. And I believe I'm right. So, if you have an A minor and you tell your guitarist playing the key of A, he's gonna be an A major, you're gonna be an A minor, and they're just they're gonna clash. It's not gonna work right. And now you can do partial holes, cross fingerings, and you can play in A major, and everything's good. But most people don't do that. So, what we're gonna do, is I'm going to pick up an E flute. But now first, I'm going to be on guitar, and since I'm not very good, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to be in the key of G major, or just G, which to me is G major. And I'm going to do, I wouldn't tell you this, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a, a one, six, five, four chord progression. And I'd like for you to play along with me. Now, what takes place? That sounds real complicated, but it really isn't, if I can get up here to the camera. Now, if you pick up that finger, go to the second note, you have a G, and then this is an E minor flute, uh, pentatonic tuning, standard Native American flute. E, F sharp, G. So, when you see your guitarist, keyboard, whatever. And by the way, folks, this is Matilda. This is my favorite instrument to play, other than my banjo. If you tell your guitarist that you need to be in a major key, now you can tell him E minor. And if he plays an E minor, you have that, and your E minor flute will work. But if you want to have a little happier sound, and you want your guitarist to play in a major key, which would be six finger up, that's going to give you this note. Your guitarist will look around if you tell them, even if you don't know what, even if you don't know what your second, your first finger up that note is, wouldn't hurt to know it, but he'll go, or you will, and he'll go, is I need to play Matilda, and I need to be in G major, and you're gonna play the relative minor, which is E, which will lay on top of it. We'll play very nicely, and I'm gonna give you a chord progression something like this. is like that if you have a cousin, first cousin, second cousin, third cousin, if you have an aunt, an uncle, let's say for the females, you like to shop and you like, you just like to shop, 
So your first or second cousin really likes to shop. You like the same stores. So that makes you a pair, and that's what the major and the relative minor basically is. And for men, if you like to hunt, you like to fish, then it's like a, a brother-in-law that you love to fish, you have your own bass boat, he loves to fish, he, he knows all these lakes you can fish, so you get along. And that's, here again, is the major for the relative minor. So, one last time that I'll stick with the E flute. If you pick up an E flute, pick up that finger, you're now playing the note G. And G is your major, and E minor is your relative minor. So, that's all you have to do. Do it one more time. Play that note. If you're on an A flute, same thing works. F sharp, G, whatever. Play that note. And that would be A, would be C. So I would play in C major to back up this flute, or A minor if I wanted to play that. But anyway, I hope that makes sense. Uh, someone asked me why I put these videos on there, because when I started playing, I didn't know for two or three years there was such a thing as a flute circle. So what I've learned is things that I have stumbled across, kind of beat myself in the head, trying to learn these things. Um, so I'm just trying to pass on just a little knowledge and maybe you can spend more time playing and you'll have more fun playing. So anyway, y'all have a good day and let me hear from you.